Good evening everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play. This is episode 14 of my Let's Play series with Industrial Craft, Build Craft, Red Power 2, and more mods. Guys, I want to thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Those of you who have and those of you who haven't, you know, uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe. You know, I've, I, my last episode, I actually reached 100 subscribers while I was doing the episode. And I was planning on making that a one-hour episode to celebrate that, but I ended up in, in post-processing and editing, uh, I noticed, you know, I just didn't have enough footage. So I decided not to make that the 100 episode, or the one-hour episode. Uh, so this episode, I'm going to try and do the same thing. If it's short, I'm sorry, guys. I do have work in the morning, so <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get started. You know, like I mentioned in my uh, my episode 13 and a half, Industrial Craft 2 has been released. Uh, for 1.0, so that's really awesome, and that's exactly what we're going to get to get to start doing today. Uh, what we're going to have to do is go on a bit of an adventure, guys, because I need rubber wood. I need rubber to actually put into my machines and make uh, and and make rubber. So what I'm going to do is I got a, my, a boat together. Um, I've got some wood. I'm going to go ahead and make a crafting bench here real quick so we have something like that to go on our way. Um, I have plenty of materials. I did a lot of strip mining getting prepared here. Uh, so I got plenty of iron and copper and tin and silver, which really isn't used for anything right now. Uh, I found a whole bunch more diamonds. Uh, you know what, guys? And I haven't even done a whole lot of strip mining. I found a lot of those diamonds in the caves, and they seem more plentiful in the caves. I don't know if that's a purpose, uh, something that was done on purpose to get people to adventure more, but uh, you know, I found most of those diamonds in the cave. Uh, to kind of catch up on what's going on here, I used a filler to clear out this room here. Uh, this is going to be the start of my machines. Um, I haven't cleared out all, all the uh, coal and stuff out of here. I got some appetite on there. So I haven't done that. Uh, I did make, uh, since I found a whole bunch more diamonds, um, I did make some more teleport pipes. And I made a power distribution system here. Uh, I got oil being piped into these four uh, combustion engines. And then uh, the power gets piped out to my quarry, which I also rebuilt. So let me go ahead and, I guess it's turning daytime here, I can show you. And while I'm heading over there, I haven't done too much, really too much else. Uh, you see this area up here, that's actually the second level to my base. Let me show you that real quick here before I head on out. Because I think I'll just go ahead and head out straight from my quarry. So let me show you here. Alright, so I made this area here, and this is primarily where a lot of my machines are going to go. Uh, this will be my machine area, and then up here, and I got to get my sword ready because this is a uh, monster-infested area. Because uh, I haven't lit it up or anything, but up here is where my living space is going to be. Uh, I did die a few times getting this cleared out, guys, uh, just because it was. Uh, I do play on hard, and uh, actually, you know what? Am I even on hard? No, I'm on normal. Now I'm on hard. Uh, I do normally play on hard, but, uh, so I wanted to, uh, get this cleared out, and I died a bunch of times doing this, uh, trying to get this cleared out, and I used the filler, uh, which worked very well to get the job done, um, but I think I need to go, well, I'm gonna go up another two levels here, and I'm gonna get out of here before I end up dying again, so, yeah, this area's cleared up, I think I'm gonna... Uh, reattach the filler and get two more levels of this cleared out and then start uh, sectioning this off for rooms and start making uh, you know this part of the part of a castle area so let me go ahead and get down here and I'll go ahead and go down and show you the quarry and I acquired another horse guys uh, actually another unicorn to be exact uh, I was in the same place that the other one was and it had another black horse but I didn't have any more bread or another saddle made up I didn't have enough leather to make another saddle. So uh, I had to skip the second black horse. But now I have two unicorns. And I'm guessing I can breed those two unicorns and have a chance to breed a pegasus. Um, I don't know if that's how, how the breeding stuff works. But um, yeah. Uh, so as I go over here, guys, I want to let you know I did get my condenser microphone. Uh, it's a, uh, for those that are maybe interested, in it, it's an Audio-Technica uh, AT2020 USB condenser microphone. Uh, let me know how it sounds, guys. I'm going to be playing with the settings here over the next few days uh, to try and make sure everything works okay. Uh, so far, you know, the tests that I've done, it sounds okay. My room is kind of not in the best, uh, uh, I guess, 
for sound, so you might hear a little bit of an echo in here. Um, I tried to turn the sound, sounds down, guys, so you can't hear any of the other stuff going on. So, anyways, here it is. I made the one unicorn shutterfly uh, per one of the users, and I'm sorry, user, I think your name's Hannah something or another. Uh, thank you very much for the name for that. I guess it's named after one of the My Little Ponies. And then I got the second unicorn, and I just went ahead and named that one myself. Her name is Safi. So, uh, the other one, the other black horse over here, I went ahead and named as well. Um, I didn't do one of the names that was suggested. I kind of did a, a derivation of it. Uh, so I named him Obsidious. So, all right. So let's go ahead over here and check out my quarry and how I had that set up. See, I have a bunch more horses over here. I just had a whole bunch of horses spawn. Okay. So I went ahead. I have everything turned off right now. And, uh, rebuilt everything so this will be ready to go when I get uh, when I get back and start uh, setting up my industrial craft machines I'll go ahead and turn it back on but uh, yeah so I have a teleport a teleport pipe with golden pipes there see this just a big mess here from the quarry and then a, a power teleport pipe there so that'll be really good for uh, being, being able to maintain everything in one spot so guys, what I'm going to do now is start heading in a direction here, and instead of making you guys watch me, uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to do this, because I have a couple things I need to talk about. Uh, I'm going to head off in this direction here to start looking for some rubber trees. So bear with me one moment here while I take a quick break, uh, drink break, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, and I saw that I failed so bad. <laughs> I made a chest, I didn't even notice it. So I'm going to go ahead and make a crafting bench. I guess we'll need a chest eventually. I bet you guys were like, <laughs> that's not a crafting bench. So, okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and head off in this direction here. A um, couple things I want to talk about, guys, while I'm kind of heading off in this area here. Uh, first of all, um, I appreciate all the uh, offers to do Let's Plays and everything, guys. It, you know, it means a lot to me that you would think I'm someone cool enough to play uh, Minecraft with. Uh, the thing is, I just don't have enough time to do that. You know, I barely have enough time to do my episodes and actually keep them updated on a regular basis. Um, you know, I just don't feel that it would be fair to you, uh, you know, whoever I play with, whoever I decide playing with. Um, and I also don't think it would be fair to the viewers because I don't think content would be such a regular thing that we would be able to, you know, really entertain uh, the way that I want people to be entertained when I watch my when they watch my videos. Um, that being said, oh, cool. I don't know if I've seen this before. I thought I'd seen this. This is a pretty cool ravine. Anyways, that's my ADD. Uh, not really ADD, guys, but uh, I get distracted easily. So I guess that is. Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, guys, I, I just don't think it would be very fair to, uh, you know, our viewers if we were to, uh, if I were to do that and not be able to commit and actually do the episodes. Okay? And I kind of got another little issue with that as well guys you know some of you who have who have contacted me um are under the age of 18 and i'm 33 years old and i don't know where it is where you guys live but you know in the u.s uh it's you know it's kind of a weird stigma stigmata i guess where you know someone who hangs out with uh younger kids it's, it's kind of frowned upon you know guys i, I really don't mind you know I'll play with anybody, anybody that's cool, you know, I'll play with, you know, 13 years old or whatever. But, you know, just for some reason, uh, you know, it's kind of frowned upon. And it kind of makes me nervous, you know. Uh, if I ever do decide to play with somebody, you know, you do happen to be pretty cool and under the age of, you know, 18 or whatever, you know, after I get to know you and find out that, you know, we'd be able to play together, uh, I, I probably have to talk to your parents or something. Because, you know, I, I just don't want it to be like the creepy guy who's hanging out with my kid kind of thing. You know, I'm 33. I have uh, kids of my own. And, and that's just what I would want, you know, to be able to know who's playing with my children. So, you know, that didn't sound quite right. But, you know, who, who's who's actually playing video games or hanging out with my kids? That's, that's just something I would want to know, too. So, you know, again, not to be mean or anything, guys. Wow, lots of sheep. Wolves. Do I have any bones? I have a bone. Let's see if I can get a wolf. Not that I need one, but nope, didn't get him. Oh well. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, it's you know, if I have my way, you know, I'm totally cool with that. I could play with anybody, but uh, you know, it's the whole parent thing as well. <laughs> you know. So, anyways, uh, 
I'm still looking for rubber trees here, guys. Just kind of wandering around. There's a whole bunch of wolves over this way. Um, you know, I, again, another thing to talk about, guys. You know, all the suggestions that I'm getting. Thank you very much, guys. Anything that'll help me uh, maximize my gameplay. Uh, you do see me stuttering a little bit right now. You know, I don't know. Uh, I tried installing Optifine, and I didn't like the way that it updated. I don't know if I did something wrong or or something like that, but it just like updated all weird. So you know, that didn't it didn't seem to work out for me. So I may give it another shot. I, I'm gonna I might be doing a fresh install uh, of all the mods and everything, um, just to make sure I have everything clean. I have a bunch of block IDs available, so I don't know. Uh, Really looking for rubber trees, not the Elarum's rubber trees, but the red power, or the, not the red power, but the uh, the the uh, <laughs> industrial craft rubber trees, and I'm not quite to find any. There are a whole bunch of wolves, my goodness. You know, if I was looking for them, I would wouldn't be able to find them, just like I'm not finding these rubber trees right now. You know, it's getting to be evening time or night time here. Um, I did bring some resources with me, so a bed, boat. Those kind of things. So if we need to hunker down and you know dig a cave, we can do that. More than likely, what we're gonna do. So I can pass the night away. There's a lion. Oh, there's some pumpkins. Um, I did die a couple times. I think I said that before. Uh, while digging out that cave area. All right. So you know, I'm just kind of rambling and babbling right now. I do have a couple other things I want to talk about. So let me go ahead and dig a hole. Find a place to to call uh, a night shelter and then I will be back after I find some rubber trees guys and I'll kind of explain where I am okay guys I found another oil deposit here so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark that on my map as a uh, as an oil here just so I know where it is when I come back to it I'm still looking oh it looks like two of them Let's see if I can leap over this oh stupid lag yeah, so anyways, guys, I uh, I tried to do Optifine. I, I guess it just wasn't working out for me. I don't know what, what the deal with that is. Um, still looking for rubber, so I will uh, be back when I find some. All right, guys, it took me a few minutes, but I think I found one here. So what I'm going to first do is uh, just try and get some saplings off this. Now, this is the only one I see around right now. There's the sapling. Trying to get a few more saplings here. Because we all know that rubber is the basis of all the IC2 machines, and if you don't have enough rubber, well, then you don't have machines. So. It doesn't look like this one has any knots on it. Any sapling holes, so... Getting any more? Nope, just the one. Let me make an axe real quick. And I'll go ahead and chop this down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. I'm going to pretend I needed that. So I'll go ahead and chop this down. Look, I did end up needing it. See, so yeah, I'm a forward-thinking kind of guy. All right, so I'm going to search around here a little bit. I am approximately 1,200 bo blocks away from my base, my kingdom. And here's a few more rubber trees. That's great. Probably won't be back out this way again, so I'm just going to go ahead and chop the wood as well. On these. Only one. Ugh. Yeah, so I 
and chop the wood on this as well. I guess there's a small chance that uh, sap will drop when you chop the wood. Yeah, see. Oops. Chop the rest of these leaves. Okay, guys, so I'm going to collect a few of these here. Get some more saplings, and when I get back, or when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and march my way on back to the base because uh, this was a successful mission to at least get some saplings instead of a, a small farm. Now, I'm curious, these should work in the planter or in my forester machine, so I'll, uh, I'll double check on that and see if that works. If anything, I will uh, make another one or make just make a small farm. So yeah, I got a few saplings out of that one. That's good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, guys, and I shall return. Okay, guys, I found some more oil deposits. Now, these are pretty far away. They're almost, uh, what, 1,300 blocks away from my current base. Um, I'm still going to mark them just in case I can't find any, find any other clear oil. So I'll just make a mark there for that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and collect these few more rubber trees across the water here, and then I think I'm going to call it done and head back to my base. So uh, when I get back... Did I collect that? Yep, I only got some lily pads. Get a few more. Oh, look, jellyfish. I haven't seen any of these yet. Oh, wow. I'm not going to get close to them, so I'm sure they sting. So, it looks like the sun's going down again, so I'll collect these, create a hidey hole, and then uh, go ahead and head back. Alright, guys, so I decided to give it a try, and it looks like... Uh, Jellyfish drop slime. So that's a pretty cool feature that uh, has been added to Mo Creatures. I was just over here collecting some lily pads. Might use them for decoration or something. And uh, decided to try and kill one of the jellyfish and it dropped slime balls. So that's pretty cool. So I am now heading, uh, gonna go ahead and head back to the base here. And guys, I'm really sorry for the rant, or the rants a little bit ago. It wasn't really a rant, it's just. You know, I wanted to, uh, you know, express my feelings on the subject just so uh, it's known, you know, kind of where I stand and where things are. Um, it's not to say, like I said, any time in the future that I might decide to go and do a, uh, a Let's Play with anybody. Because uh, I, I think that would be really cool. Um, just right now, I just don't have the time. Whoa. Oh, I can bet it. That's right. You can make uh, armor with this stuff. Now I want to kill some more crocodiles to get some more skin. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the base. It's going to take me a little bit uh, to get there. So uh, when I get back, I will uh, get to building with some machines. Guys, I just found another. <clears throat> excuse me. All right, guys. I just found another uh, oil well here as I'm on my way back. So that's a few. Again, they're quite a few far distance away. So I'm hoping um, that these chunk loader blocks actually work. Um I don't know if there's maybe something wrong with them because I found that if I walk away or go too far, they don't seem to be working all that well. I, I, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. So uh, what I'll have to end up doing is if I need any of this oil, I'll have to come back, play some chunk loader blocks, and see if it pumps back, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so as I'm going back, a couple more things I wanted to talk about, guys. Um, first of all, I wanted to talk about... Um, distributing my jar. I'm not going to do it, guys. Um, I know some of you have, have messaged me. You're saying you're having issues and stuff like that. Uh, not that I don't believe you. I know sometimes uh, doing the mods is difficult, but I, I'm not going to distribute my jar, guys. Um, it's illegal. Um, you guys should know better than ask um, for that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to do it. Just, just kind of put that up front there. Um, those that are legit legitimately having issues, um, Direwolf20 just put out a brand new video. He started his new Let's Play series here this week. Uh, and his very first video that he did was actually him installing um, pretty much all the same mods that I use. Um, he actually went in as far as to install uh, Equivalent Exchange and Thalmcraft as well. So just uh, just wanted to make that known to you guys that, uh, you know, that, that is an option that's available. You can watch that video and... That's pretty much legit, guys. You know, he, he did a really good job setting it up and explaining. 
and uh, everything seems to work right off the bat. So, um, some more oil here. So we're going to mark this as well. And I'm just placing points down. Hope I'm going in the right direction here because I didn't see these the first time through. So, uh, yeah, that brings me to the second point, guys. Uh, in, uh, equivalent exchange. I've been thinking about it. And Xenophobe has done a lot of cool work to kind of make it, you know, almost a lot harder to uh, to use equivalent exchange. Not really harder, but at least um, it seems more involved, you know. Uh, and I was th thinking about giving it another shot. So let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if I do go through and do a uh, reinstall, I'll make sure I add that. And uh, let me know if Thomcraft interests you guys because uh, I think that looked pretty cool too. So, and it looks like another oil deposit. I am probably lost. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go back and uh, look at my, my stuff, guys, because... I think I'm legitimately lost here. I'm just finding all sorts of oil deposits and stuff, but there's another one. My goodness. So let me go look at my coordinates, guys, from my previous video, <laughs> figure out where my house is, and uh, start heading back that way. All right, so I found my way back here, finally. Uh, that was a little uh, adventure, though. Did find some more oil over here. I think this is wasn't... I think that's just a deposit, not a, yeah. Okay, so that's good. That was a good adventure. Got uh, got my saplings and stuff. You got to guys got to hear me uh, babble on a little bit. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to make my way back into my house and start making rubber. All right, guys, I come home to find scorpions in my house. So obviously, I didn't like this area up very well. Hopefully, they don't split into a million little scorpions like the other one did. Easy enough. All right, guys. So I went ahead and started some cooking. I started up my quarry again while I'm here. Uh, just keep an eye on it to make sure everything runs okay. Um, so let's see. I got steaks cooking. I got rubber cooking. Made some wire. So let's go ahead and make some insulated copper cables here. And actually, I need... What else do I need? I need to cook up some iron. So I'm going to go ahead and stack, cook a stack of that. Just because I have lots of extra. Plus, once I get my macerator going here, I will have tons more. So let me go ahead and get that cooking. Uh, make some batteries. All sorts of goodness here, guys. So let me go ahead and get my stuff cleaned up, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so during that, I went ahead and planted some of the rubber trees, saplings, um, cut a bunch of the leaves off, and I'll go clean this up later. I just wanted to go ahead and collect some more resin right now, but uh, got quite a few uh, sapling holes there, so I was able to collect a good bit, another 20 resin. So I went ahead and put those in the furnace to go ahead and cook up into rubber. I keep looking at that and I keep thinking it's a skeleton. Uh, so let's see, my refined iron is done. So the first thing I need to make is a, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and make some batteries here. So I need some redstone, which I have already. I've got some tin. And let's go ahead and make four batteries. Because the first thing I want to make is um, a bat box and a generator. Okay, so four batteries. And let's see, that box is like so. so. Three of those batteries. So that's a bat box. Uh, next thing you need to build is a generator. Let's see, so it's the furnace. Um, I think they changed the recipe for this, so I'm gonna have to actually look this up. I'm gonna use craft guide here. I do have craft guide with the hotkey item because I just use it too much, so I decided to go ahead and make it. So let's see. Iron, iron, iron. Makes an iron furnace. Iron furnace. Yeah, they changed it, so now it's three fined iron. 
in the iron furnace. Okay. Uh, so let's get some iron here as well. Oh my gosh, too much stuff again. Oh, by the way, uh, I died a few times and I lost my backpack. So that wasn't fun. Uh, I didn't have anything in it. I think uh, a creeper blew it up or something. So I'm not quite sure what that was about. Ah, generator. All right, so the next thing I want to make is a macerator. And that's another one I'm going to have to look up, guys. So I forget. Let's see. Machine block. Machine block macerator. There he is. Cobblestone. Ooh, electronic circuit. Uh... I don't think electronic circuits take glowstone. I haven't been to the nether yet, but I think if I'm not mistaken here It's like this Yes electronic circuit machine block uh, Flint And cobblestone ah macerator my favoriteest of machines all right, so let's go ahead and set this up over yonder. Yonder is something we say in West Virginia. So let's see, generator. Uh, let's dig this out, let me dig this out here. Because what I wanna do is run some cables underneath or behind, do I wanna do it behind? So I think the bat box, that's the output. Generator, actually, you know what? I need to cook up some bronze because I need to break a wrench because I need to break that. So turn this off for right now. It's still full of water, so it should be okay. But all right, so I need to macerate some dust. So let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and just do this for now. It'll just be a little ugly right now, but that's okay. All right, so you put that on there. I have some charcoal over here somewhere that we will use. I thought I had some charcoal. Yeah, I got a bunch of coal. I want to be careful with this because I don't want to use coal anymore. I'll use my charcoal that I've got from my tree factory. So down here, no, wrong machine. There we go. Okay, so my bat box is filling up, which then should be filling up my macerator. So let's go ahead and get some copper and some tin. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and make another macerator, why not? Let's make a couple machine blocks here. Okay. Uh, I need to make another circuit, which I need rubber for. To make the advanced circuit. Machine block. Cobble and flint. There we go. So we got another one of those. Let's go ahead and get some of this uh, copper and some tin. Let's put some of that over here. Hope you guys can hear me okay. I don't know what my volume levels are like. Um, I know these machines are kind of loud. Yeah, I'm gonna go turn these sounds off guys. I'll be back All right guys, I'm back uh, Thank you whoever on the forum told me that there was an option in the config file to turn off the sounds uh, The last time I did it, my let's play I actually went and deleted the sounds from the uh, from the jar So this is much better much better way and less destructive and I'm sure it uh, 
uh, makes it run a little bit better too. So thank you very much, whoever suggested it. I can't remember who you were right now. I guess I should start writing these down, <laughs> uh, suggestions and stuff. That way I can thank you guys properly. So uh, thank you very much again. Uh, now you guys could probably hear me a lot better. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, you should probably, probably hear me a lot better now. So uh, you can probably hear my kids in the background too. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Copper and tin. I guess the next thing I'm going to make, guys, is uh, a couple electric furnaces. And I'll put those down right next to the macerators. So I need to look up the recipe for those again. Let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm sure it has something to do with furnaces. Uh, there's a machine block. That'll always get me what I want. Close to what I want, at least. Let's see. Compressor. I do need one of those. So I need to make an extractor, too. See, that's a machine block. Four taps and a circuit. Okay. But where is the furnaces? Generator? Generator doesn't go to a furnace, does it? No. Machine block again. Uh, help me guys, I don't know. Iron furnace. There he is, electric furnace. So I'm going to make two of these. So I need two iron furnaces, two circuits, and some more redstone. So how much rubber? Some more copper in here, don't I? Yeah, some more copper. Make a couple more wires. Hopefully I'll have enough here. Uh, so two of these circuits. Redstone. Okay, toss that out for a moment. Uh, what else was it again? Redstone, iron furnaces. So I made two furnaces. I know you guys have seen this all before. I'm trying to make it as painless as possible, but. There we go. Now I don't have to use coal. At least not in that regard. Let's go ahead and get these furnaces ready. Charged up. Get those cooking. Those. Oh, what happened? Did I miss something? Okay, I'll have to go back and watch the video on that. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I thought I shift clicked on something, but it looked like it disappeared. I'll have to go back and watch that. So while I'm doing that. I only have two. I need to, uh, I'm going to sleep here real quick. I know, guys, I'm going to go upstairs here in a moment and light up the uh, the second floor there so all these monsters and stuff don't spawn anymore up there. Uh, let's get my tree taps back. And collect some more rubber here. Ow. Ah. Stupid rats. Oh my gosh, I can't hit him. Now what? Okay, these rats are really annoying. Alright. Oh, and the zombie comes and visits. Hello, zombie. I'd like to eventually enchant something, guys. I got some stuff here. I got some more reeds. So, I'm ready to uh, enchant something. I just need to get some more experience. Maybe, uh... As part of this episode, I'll go make uh, an experience farm as well. 
So what was I doing? Yes, I need to uh, cook some more rubber. I only got one. Oh my gosh. That's right, I got attacked. There's one. That was good. Hope I didn't tap that too many times. There's oh, another one. There's a few more. I only need one more circuit. And then after I make this extractor, I can extract using a bunch of the wood that I got from my adventure trip. So, let's go ahead and cook that up. Okay, so I'll let that cook up, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back here, and I went ahead and crafted my uh, circuit and my tree taps here. So I'm going to go ahead and just make this uh, compressor now. Uh, apparently I did it wrong. There it is. Extractor, excuse me, not compressor. I'll need to make one of those eventually too. So I'm just going to put him right on the end here. Okay. So now that's full, that's full. Um, let's go ahead and take that out. I don't want to waste too much more coal. I'm going to be doing a lot of work here, though, so let me go ahead and go grab charcoal over from my tree farm, and I'll be right back. Okay, fellas, I went ahead and put uh, the rubber wood into the extractor since I don't have any other use for it. Uh, go ahead and get this batch of charcoal. Get that cooking. I've got iron macerating into dust here. I don't have anything cooking yet. I do want to go ahead and make a bunch of bronze. Here, make a bunch of bronze dust, just so we have some on hand. Always good to have bronze dust. And then I'll just put this other dust in here, and I'll go through and actually uh, macerate all this other stuff later. Once uh, I'm hoping soon, the uh, the creator or whoever keeps it updated right now of the advanced machines. Uh, gets us up, gets the advanced machines updated for um, the newest version of Industrial Craft. That way, this would be a lot, a uh, lot quicker with a lot of the advanced machines. I think I got a lot of the resources that I can just go ahead and start making those as soon as they become available. Um, as a matter of fact, I could probably. I think I need actually. I think I need glowstone first. So my, a trip to the Nether might be in order first. So I was thinking I can make a uh, induction furnace right away, but I think I'll have to wait for that. All right, so let's go ahead and get these together. All right, guys, so uh, let me take a few moments here, decide what I'm gonna do next. Actually, you know what? I know exactly what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna go up and light up this area, get some experience. Gotta make another sword real quick, though. I, like I said, I found a ton of stuff, guys. I got a whole bunch of redstone, lapis, bunch of diamonds now. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff now. So I'm gonna actually, I'm not gonna, the diamonds are gonna be used for enchanting uh, a pickaxe and a, a sword. So I'm gonna try and get some more experience here first before I start using those up. So I'm gonna use some red, uh, some redstone ruby to make a, a sword here. And we'll go upstairs and uh, we'll do some battle. Let's see if that'll work. Let's see, steak. Alright, so let's head up here. Actually, I know exactly what I'll do after this, too, is I'll go ahead and set up my filler and go ahead and clear that top floor. There's top two blocks there. So, you see here, I got these chests full. These I thought I was going to use, but I didn't end up using them. Ah! My goodness. Was it a rat? No. Alright, so... The only thing I really hate are the creepers and the zombies. Oh, you bum. Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. Hopefully I don't die here. I'm going to try and pick up this chest. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's a chest. Whoa. I'm getting shot at. Oh, my sword broke. Die, die, die. 
Oh, an Enderman. Ooh. Oh no, I got an Enderman mad at me. I wonder where that Enderman went. He probably teleported out towards to get me. So I'm glad I have all the extra chests here. Let's go finish lighting this up over here. White mouse. Oh, yep, here. It's teleporting around up, up top there. some of this so I'm gonna light this up guys I shall uh, be back after I'm finished all right so I went ahead and got all that lit up I was just checking on my quarry make sure everything was piping in correctly it looks like it is uh, I did some distribution pipes here and I have them splitting up into these four chests again I'm, I'm seriously thinking about getting equivalent exchange guys uh, I was thinking you know my ultimate goal is to build a cool place you know um, and having the resources and ability to do that is really the uh, is really the end to justify the means. So I'm thinking I may go ahead and get equivalent exchange installed. Um, so yeah, so this is all all lit up now for the most part. I'll probably have one or two spawn here. And you know, I was pretty amazed actually how many monsters were up here. So you know, I'm wondering if this area is pretty solid and there's just nowhere else for them to spawn. Um, I do have for the most part up above here lit up. I believe. Nope, actually I don't. That was the other side. That's that one over there. So, uh, you know, monsters may be spawning up there, I guess, but I'm sure that's where the Endermen went. Let's take a look. Go ahead and light it up as we go, as a matter of fact. There's some creepers up here. Goats. So I got a little bit of experience from clearing those things out up there, guys. Ah. Ah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, shoot. Darn it. I saw some stuff fly over the edge, too. That stinks. All right, let's see where this takes me. Well, I know where it's going to take me. I should spawn back in my bed, but... see if I can get actually let me sleep real quick that way I can get my stuff back all right most of it should be here yeah I see a stinking spider darn it took me down to six experience six level six I guess see anything spill over here no just a creeper so, oh, there's a tree tap over here. Pick that up. All right, over the edge I go. And there's a boat, some string and pork. Don't see where my sword went though. Did I have my sword? Oh, there it is, that's right, it was red. All right, seems like I recovered everything. At least most everything, I'm sure. There's our Enderman friend. Look at him. Come and get me now, buddy. Oh, come on, teleport away. Where'd he go? 
probably going to come after me. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here. Um, I'm thinking this place needs a few more waterfalls. I like that waterfall there. So I think uh, I'm going to go play some more waterfalls at some point. So I think it needs more waterfalls. Maybe a nice waterfall coming down right here. So uh, let me get my weapon prepared here. So I might have to do some fighting. Um, I haven't run my tunnel boring machine recently. Uh, just because I was waiting for some more coal from my tree farm. I'm going to go ahead and give that a spin up. Uh, collect some more coal from the trees. And uh, I'll be back. Alright guys, so I wanted to come over and show you my uh, tree farm area. Uh, what happens here. So I, I changed it around a little bit since we last uh, were here. So basically my advanced insertion pipe will drop uh, the wood down into this one. If this one's full, it'll drop it into here. If this is full, it'll drop it into the chest. Uh, then what will happen is this: these will produce coal and both of them will come down into this pipe here and will go down and back under. Now if I go under here, you'll see I have an advanced distribution pipe here. And basically what will happen is I'll have two coal go up into the furnace furnaces and then six coal will go over here. And I, I'm guessing that will work just based on the number of uh, coal is needed to produce. So that should work out. Um, and what will happen is it'll the coal will go into here first and fuel this. Uh, once this one fills up, it'll go into here, and anything left over should go back into this chest here. Um, and then all the other coal will just go right into the chest itself. So that should work out if I uh, did everything correctly or planned everything correctly. So that should happen there. Now, why would you want to do one other thing, though? I do want to set up a uh, an advanced distribution pipe up here to drop uh, some wood here as well. So let me um, let me bust this real quick. I'm gonna have to replace that with cobble or something. So let's uh, actually, you know what? I something was pointed out to me a moment ago uh, by my son is that I really don't need this chest here anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and break that. Get this out of the loop here. Uh, break this with a pickaxe. And this as well. So I really don't need that anymore. Uh, what can I lose for a moment? Let's get rid of the flesh. Oops. So I pick something else up? Oh, the lever. There we go. All right, so let me get up here for a moment and get these back connected. All right, so those are connected now. Um, and actually what I want to do is place the advanced distribute or the distribution transport pipe. I wonder if I can place it on this. Yeah. So what I want to do then is then go ahead and pipe this down into the chest here. And I need to make another, where's my, there it is. I need to make some more uh, cobblestone pipe here. All right, so then we can pipe this straight down like that okay and then let's set up the distribution pipe and basically since this is mainly for coal I guess what I want to do is yellow I'll say gets two red we'll get six so one out of every three actually I can just do it that way I guess one out of every three so three will go down to red, one will go to yellow. That way I get some wood as well into this uh, into this system. So that should work out well. Let me head back up here and patch all this up real quick. I really need to make some steps. Make all the, so I stop all this jumping. Actually, there's nothing to patch. I guess I can use some uh, covers here, but I'll do that later. Okay, uh, I got a couple trees here. I'll go ahead and run this for a moment. Get this all cleaned up. Looks like it's raining outside. That's fine. Uh-oh. 
cheetah or something. Ow! Go away. All right. So I'll run this for a moment here. Uh, let's see it produce some wood. There we go. And we'll see this in action. Make sure it works. All right, so wood's going down. I wonder which one it'll do first. Okay, so it does the yellow first. So it'll send one that way and it should send three down to red. Uh-oh, what's going on? Why isn't it sending any down to red? Uh-oh, hold on guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, apparently what was happening is the distribution pipe did not like being hooked up to the wooden pipe, I guess, uh, to go into the uh, advanced insertion pipe. So I went ahead and rerouted things a little bit. It looks like it's working fine now. It distributed one piece of wood here, and it went three down and then two there. So it looks like it's working okay now. So I'm going to go ahead and dump these uh, pieces of wood directly into the furnace. Here. There we go. And then go down and collect these pieces of wood that got dropped. And, oh my goodness. I need more leather. What? What happened here? Uh oh. Something happened. I don't know what has to just happened, guys. I got some kind of pet somehow. Okay. Well, anyways. So this should be filling up here. Got charcoal. Got wood. This should be filling up with more charcoal now. That's good. That one's not going to get any yet, I guess, until this fills up with some more charcoal. Which might be a bad thing if this thing overflows with wood, but I guess we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and see what I'm going to do next, and I'll be back. Woo, that was a close call, guys. Uh, <laughs> I caught these in the red stage here. Well, I'm sure my quarry was running nicely. Uh, that thing was about to blow up. Uh, I came in to check my filler, or to go do my filler for the up above level, and uh, yeah, I just caught that. Just looked like I got some appetite there for my quarry, so that's cool. So I need to go check on my water pump, figure out why it's not working. I probably ran out of coal on it. So I'll go check on that here in a moment. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and... Got to get some landmarks first. Let's see. It should be up here. Ah, what happened to my landmarkers? All right. I got redstone torches here. Another one, a few there. And some lapis, so I'll just make some more. Need four of them. All right. So let's head upstairs here. Got some steam engines and some charcoal. And I'm going to clear out these upper two floors. I see you, creeper. Goodbye. I think this game's determined not to let me get above level 10. All right, so I did it over here. I'll do it over this way this time. Let's see. What I want to do. What is that? That's a duck. Okay. As long as it's not here to kill me, I don't care. Uh, so. Actually, I want to. Let's do it from this corner here. Go up a few levels. Place my. Well, let's see. How am I going to do this? Whoa! That wasn't holding shift. Alright, back up again. Uh, 
All right, really got to get some stairs made, guys. All right, let's do this. Oops. Go up two levels. So I want here and here. That's right. And this is 101, 102. So I want it on 103. And I'll go to this corner. Right here. Two. Marker here. You know what? I'm going to have to move that marker, aren't I? Yep, that second one. All right. Uh, let's see. Two. There. And we'll put that second marker over in that corner. time again. you come off and I'm gonna have to make another marker now and two markers great okay I fail guys hold on I'll be back all right guys I got it finally <laughs> set up um, so what I'm gonna do now so I'm gonna make a platform here so I can stick all these engines down and I do want to put I'm gonna try and put all five in I want this to go relatively quick so I'm hoping here that uh, the way I do this it should be quick and I don't need to use a lot of coal. So put six in that one. Another one here, another one here. Another one here. And another one here. All right, uh, let's see if I can get to the filler now. Whoa, all right, and of course I don't have any glass on me, so hold on, I'll be right back for that. All right guys, I'm back with the glass here. Um, so I need to build my way back up here. Get into the filler this time. And put in a clear recipe. There we go. Easy as that. Now I need to put, not die, uh, coal in all these guys. And then switches to activate them. So like I said, I'm hoping this doesn't take long. I don't think it'll take too much to get this done. So, switch. Switch. We get those two. And that final one's going to be tricky. Let's see. There we go. Just put a switch right under there. There. So now that one's active. So now that should be going pretty fast think and I'm gonna do running back and forth here collecting the stuff that falls from the die yeah see I already dropped a lot of stuff yeah so it seems to be going at a pretty good clip here so I'm gonna go ahead and collect all this stuff that gets cleared out 
And then uh, I think I'm going to see uh, how much time that I've spent here. Oh, you're not turning into a werewolf here. No, sorry, not gonna happen. <clears throat> all right, yeah, so I'm gonna go back and forth, collect all this stuff as it drops out, and then uh, I shall return to show you the uh, end result. All right, guys, so it's wrapping up here, and it is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect my filler and my steam engines. Hopefully I don't lose anything. Uh, cause I don't feel like jumping down and swimming around in the water at night here. So, let's see. Oh, of course my inventory's full from collecting all this cobble. So, collected a bunch of chests worth of stuff here, guys. Uh, when I get to the induction furnace stage, um, I'm gonna need a lot of this, uh, melted down into smooth stone. Uh, I still want to do the same project that I wanted to do in my previous world, but I need, uh, some, sm the smooth stone first for bricks, uh, for the brick stone, um, for my castle area or my, uh, home area here, so. Oh, see, I lost an engine. I don't feel like getting that, so. Alright, I'm going to lose this engine too. Darn it. Oh, nope, good, got it. Alright, so I think I got them all there. Go ahead and get rid of this stuff here. This tape will go away after I uh, log out for the night. It doesn't hang around, so I can go ahead and get rid of all this. And I'm not going to square it, make this square, guys. I think I'm going to make it rounded out. I'm going to round it out right here and make it like a balcony that kind of looks out this direction. Because the sun sets right over there. So it'll make a nice uh, sunrise or sun uh, sunset uh, viewing platform here. So I'm going to round this and build it out and up, up into the air, though. So, uh, uh, But I'm just going to leave this uh, the corner here for right now, just in case I need to do anything else out here. All right, so that's that. Um, so next, I'm gonna pick a location to put my nether portal, because that'll be my next step, because I do want to get uh, some glowstone. I haven't been to the nether yet, so we'll get that uh, we'll get that started together. So let me find a location uh, that I want to do this. I don't know precisely where right now. Maybe, maybe I'll just do it right over here. I really want to do it somewhere deep underground, but my experience with that is like every time I do one of those underground, it um, I come out in a really stupid location in the Nether. So hopefully, maybe this will uh, this will work out a little bit better for me. So I get this dug out here, go get my obsidian and make a flint and steel. Let's see, maybe we'll find another fortress. I need flint. Where's the flint? Flint, flint, flint. Do I have any more flint? Oh, yeah, I have some on me. And steel. I need iron. Of those. Let's see if I can get it right on the first try here. Yes. Alright, so I'm just going to dump stuff off here. Stuff I'm not going to need. Uh, coal. Take my bow with me. Take my sword. I'm not going to take shovels or flesh or those. My arrows I will need. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I have room already. Nope, nope. I'll take some meat with me. I'll take some dirt for fill. And some cobblestone for the same. Put that away. Take some torches. And I will take a little bit of coal. I don't think I'll need a boat. Okay. All right, so let's go build another portal. I think that's right. Yep. All right, let's go to the nether. Like I said, I'm hoping to get some glowstone here. Hopefully I don't appear over a lake of lava floating in midair. I did that one time and immediately lost my, uh... Oh, look, I'm in a cave. 
Uh, boy. Okay, well, let me see where this goes, I guess. Nope, nowhere. Go ahead and pick up red mushrooms, why not? Nowhere. Oh, good. Going a whole lot of nowhere, guys. Let's go up this way. And we got burning stuff here. Anything over here? Nope, looks like that dead ends too. Oh, look, more mushrooms. Well, so much for my theory that uh, come out in cruddy location underground. Came out in a cruddy location anyways. Okay. What's up here? Oh, look, glowstone. Cool. At least we get some glowstone out of this. Go anywhere? Nope. All right, let's try and go over here. Anything over here? Nope, that's our portal. So that really didn't take us anywhere, guys. Um, Looks like I'm on level 112, so I'm up towards the top. So I guess I could try digging down and see where that takes me. So let me uh, let me do a little digging, guys, and see if uh, that's something I can't resolve. Whoa, whoa, another scorpion, nice. Just come out of nowhere, didn't he? What's this back here? Ow. Oh, look. Thank you, Nether Scorpion, for hitting me. If I'd have just went backwards, I'd have seen this. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's much better. Uh, I still need to dig down a bit here, I guess, to find a... Let's see. Oh, and there's another fortress. Yes. This just turned interesting, fellas. You know what, I'm sorry, I keep saying guys and fellas, and I looked at my YouTube uh, analytics, and approximately 4% of my subscribers are female. So, ladies and gentlemen, is what I will say from now on. Unless you're really not a gentleman, then I won't. Then don't take offense. Uh, let's see, wow, that's cool. That is epic. All right, so pigman. Oh, there's a ghast. No, nope. he saw me. All right, keep digging down here. Oops. Let's see. Well, that's kind of good then. Our uh, our portal is in a secure location at least. We're kind of in a precarious situation here, but. Do, whoa, that would have ended badly. It may still if this gas shoots at us again. I'm trying to make my way over to the nether fortress, guys. Let's see what's over here real quick. Oh, hello, pigman. All right, let's play some baseball. Ooh. I suck at this, guys. done I suck at that I can't do it all right let's see here let's go over this way rats another rats huge rats all right so of course what we're looking for guys is blaze spawners that's right we're gonna try and find a blaze spawner hopefully uh, fairly easy to get ah! 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. All right, let me gather some stuff together here because I'm going to have to go back and get my stuff. Oh, geez. That was so fail. All right, another sword. Some wood. I might as well make a pickaxe. No, I don't want to take my diamond. Let's see, I got a wood one here. I'll use that, I guess. And I have a stone sword. I won't waste that. All right, let's head back. I can't believe I fell off the edge. I was holding shift, I thought I was. All right, so it was back behind me here. Oh boy. I saw some of my stuff fall into the lava. Unavoidable. So it's over here. I'm gonna have to make my way down there. All right, I'm gonna fall in the soul sand here. Ow. I wonder why my uh, mini map didn't update with my death point. Where was it I died? There's some stuff. Oh, oh man, all my experience is gone. See, I told you. This game has it out for me. I can't keep my experience. There's some more stuff. Ah. Oh good, I got my pickaxe back at least. Pickaxe, pickaxe back. Lost my the rest of my obsidian. Alright, well now I gotta make my way back up there. So, alright, well I'm gonna try and find my way back up there, guys. I don't want you to have to watch me fail again, because I'm sure I'm gonna fall in lava and die. So, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so it looks like I found a blaze spawner. Oh, and a rat. I'll tell you what, these guys are pretty annoying. Um, I died two more times here. Ooh, two blaze spawners. Cool. All right, here we go. Time to uh, bust out Etho's. Uh... Ooh, get away from this ghast. Um, time to bust out Etho's uh, blaze spawner farm. Uh oh. I'm pressing my luck here, I know. But I want to explore this a little bit and see what's available. Um, try and find some nether wart. That would be cool. Ah! Wow, this ghast is annoying. Okay, guys, so I'm pinned down. I have a ghast on one side and a blaze on the other here. Oh, I'm not going to do much damage with that. Where's he at? He's trying to come over top of me. Like a couple blazes. Oh, my gosh. All right, I'm going to make a break for it, guys. I don't think this... I'm going to find too much more in this castle. It looks like it's a smaller one. Oh, nope, there's more back there. But I got, like, four blazes and a ghast after me. Oh, let's head in here, see what's over this way. I think this is where I'll find another wart. Anyways. Let's see. Go up. Oh, nope, another rat, though. Ah, go away, rats. Good thing is, these rats actually jump a pretty decent amount of experience, it looks like. Uh, maybe I won't find another wart. How far does this thing go? All right, I take back my original assumption, guys. This is a pretty big, or at least this part of it is. I don't know where it leads. Wow. Okay, I don't even know which way I came from now. Great. I'm assuming it was this way. Or nope, that's a dead end. Let's see what's on anything on the other side here nope that's where it dead ends okay so I didn't come from this way okay 
probably I came from this way. This is where I just looked down. Okay. So let's go to the left first. That looks like it dead ends. Yep. Okay. So then we'll go to the right. Some mushrooms here. Got a good bit of mushrooms. Oh my gosh, and it branches again. All right. Looks like the. Got a lava. Dead end. And it looks like it branches into the other part, uh, the back part of the fortress there. And these pigmen shouldn't be any trouble with forming. I haven't killed any of them yet. Okay, yeah, so this is the back part here. Or it could be a completely different one, I don't know. You know what? Being the genius that I am, I did not mark out where my portal was here. So I might be in some trouble. I'm gonna go ahead and build a, I'm holding shift this time, guys. Make sure I got that. And I'm just gonna build a walk path over here. Check out what's over here. Does not look like I'm gonna find any nether wart in this one, guys. A little lava pool there. Another blaze spawner. Two blaze spawners. Oh no, this is, okay. Am I up above where I was before? No, this is where I was before. One other way, okay, so I'm back that way. Okay, so I'm back to where I was. And darn it, uh, no blaze spawn, or no uh, nether wart, at least it seems. A little disappointing, but uh, I'm sure I'll find it in another stronghold somewhere. So my next goal is to just go ahead and get the uh, heck out of here. Head back to the real world. by avoiding these blazes again. Fire ghost, ah! I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning. Go away. All right. Seriously need to take up some alchemy. Oh, he's still here. I'm gonna ah. die. Oh my goodness. Water doesn't work in the nether, does it? Yep, definitely gonna have to take up some alchemy to, before I tackle this again or get some armor on. That would probably be a smart idea if I did that. I can make some. Let me go ahead and make a chest plate at least. I have enough iron for that. Don't have any experience, so can't enchant it. Oops, there we go. And some booties, why not? Well, that's definitely going to be interesting getting in there. Um, to build a, uh, definitely gonna be interesting to get in there to build the uh, mob trap for those guys. All right, so I'm gonna head back over there, get my stuff and get the heck out of Dodge. Okay guys, I made it out alive and, and luckily without a scratch that time. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode this right now, guys. Uh, hopefully it's an hour. I need to get this edited and, and uh, at least uh, rendering right now. And then when I get up for work in the morning, I'll uh, I'll have this up, start this uploading, and hopefully it'll be up sometime tomorrow afternoon for you guys or tomorrow morning for you guys to watch. Um, again, thank you very much, guys. Uh, you know, without your uh, you know without your feedback or anything like that, I wouldn't even be doing this. Uh, you know, all the great feedback gets gets back to me, and I keep doing this because I really like you know, hearing from you guys and, and doing this for somebody other than myself. 
Um, that being said, you know, if you guys have any comments, suggestions, let me know. You know, let me about let me know about the uh, equivalent exchange and uh, uh, Thomcraft or whatever it's called. Uh, let me know how about those. You know, if that's something that you guys might want to see. Uh, if so, you know, leave a comment for me. And when I get home from work tomorrow, I will uh, I'll have that upload or I'll uh, redo my mod pack and and include equivalent exchange and Thomcraft uh, and try and get that all together. Uh, there was one other thing I wanted to get to today, but I didn't quite do it, and I'll kind of keep it you in suspense for uh, uh, a little bit longer. Uh, it's just a uh, something I've been wanting to do for a little while since Railcraft got updated, so I'll keep you in suspense a little bit longer on that. Uh, anyways, thank you very much, guys. Have a good one.